Hi guys and welcome back to the vlog. It's me, Lenora. I'm now 30 days out to my bikini cock. Oh my god, I'm totally freaking out, like freaking out. But I'm also very excited. Before I touch on the topic, for anyone who is visiting my vlog for the first time, thank you. And if you happen to swim around in my playlist section, you watch a couple of the videos, you like what you see, do click that subscribe button, which is right here. Thank you, I would appreciate it so much. And I'm giving you a big kiss. I think you can tell, like being an idiot. All right, so now onto the topic for today's vlog. This is something which I feel a lot of people don't talk about. A lot of times we talk about training, we talk a lot about nutrition, but this I think is crucial for any athlete or anybody who's a fitness enthusiast or your person who's just starting out at the gym or on your fitness journey is good to know. And that is athletes maintenance, rehab. Well, this is what I'm calling it anyway. When you are training very vigorously on a daily basis, consistently, you are pounding your muscles a lot. You are tearing them up, those muscle fibers, to ensure that they can grow. And your joints are also taking quite an impact when you are, say, running for a marathon, those heavy lifts, your body is taking all that impact. Now, what's gonna happen over time if you're not careful? You could get injured and this is why I want to touch about maintenance for your body. I'm going to be very honest and say that I'm a person that is not very good with stretching. In fact, I find stretching one of the most boring things in the world and foam rolling. But these are very crucial because this is going to prevent injuries in the long run. Especially since I'm coming closer to my comp day. In my first comp, what happened was I got injured in my lower back and I also sprained my ankle five days out for my comp. So this time taking all kinds of precautions. Among the things that I've been doing to ensure I do not, I do not, I do not get injured again or have any issues and in fact it's going to enhance my performance for my training. I've been seeing a chiropractor regularly, I've been doing dry needling regularly and I've also been having a new thing which is has been growing in the fitness scene, cryotherapy which is where you freeze your entire body. It's the same as you filling up a bathtub with water and with ice. That's basically cryotherapy. Except I did this in a chamber. So I wanna share with you the places I went to and also what happened when I was there. You may think that you only go to a chiropractor when you have pain. No, actually, going to a chiropractor on a regular basis is actually good. Explain to me on how certain movements can affect the spine. Small little, little things from gym, you see for example, uh, cable row mm. or picking up the weight. Yeah. A lot of times people think that oh, as long as the back is straight during workout is fine. So the moment when you want to, you know, cable cable row, which the cable is at the front. Yeah. When they pick up the cable, the back is bent. Yeah. And then they pull only they straighten up. Yeah. And that kind of thing or you know just from the barbell, they thought that during the movement have to be straight, but then they pick it up. Back then, and back and then yeah. come out only to go straight. So those are the little, little things. So because you're making sure that your spine is always aligned. I don't know how often you have actually done an x-ray for yourself, but when I did an x-ray on myself a few months back, I had never known that I had scoliosis, which is pretty common in most people. So my scoliosis is at the, the top part of my spine and my pelvis is also just a little bit out of placement. When the joints are moving well, it's not going to be pinching on any nerve or it's not going to be rubbing um, onto each other in the wrong way. But in any case, I just want to share with you that if you are at a desk job quite often or you are doing a lot of movements, like say CrossFit or any kind of activity for that matter, it's just good to go and get your spine checked every once in a while. Now, as for dry needling, I think this is a fantastic method if you want to target the muscle that's giving you the biggest pain in the ass. Here we are at Precise Rehab. Last week, I had lower back pain, but it's actually not my lower back pain. It's, it was a referral pain. This is Lipchin, and he does uh, dry needling, and also, can you say acupuncture? It's a Western acupuncture, basically. It's an evidence-based acupuncture. But he sorted out my lower back, which is not actually my lower back. It was a what? It's a piriformis injury, actually. Uh, so, um, it's causing a referral pain to the tailbone and causing some like 
like kind of like a tingling sensation and around the tailbone area. It's a lot looser now compared to before. I couldn't even squat or I couldn't even do elliptical properly because everything was just pulling. So now that's sort of he's checking it and he I'm gonna ask him to check my calf because my calf is super tight. I need to fix more mobility at my back. That's mm -hmm. very important for my posing. Today we can do a little bit of manipulations on the uh, tailbone area. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm wearing this like little sorrow. You train so hard and you don't stretch enough, you will tend to have quite a fair bit of muscle knots. You say that when you do a posterior and anterior uh, tilt, right? There's a little bit no. of pulling, right? No more. Nothing, no more. It's all gone. It's all gone. Like zero. That's good because they don't do any exercise, they sit a lot with very bad posture. Ouch, 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 oh my gosh. Ho, ho, ho. I haven't started. The left, the, 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 the inner part is worse. Hmm. This one, right? Yes! Your medial gastrocnemius is very, very tight. What does that come big. from? Oh, what? Ouch! Oh, there you go. Uh, breathe, 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 breathe. breathe, breathe. For medial gastrocnemius, right? Probably people who are wearing a lot of high heels or uh, oh, you're doing a lot of like standing uh, okay. Or maybe you you overwork your cuff Okay But it's not the injury like it's just uh, some trigger point around that okay. area Oh my calves are sore This is necessary because I don't want to be cramping again on stage like the last time Thanks a lot to Lipchin for fixing my calves Thanks! Oh, you like it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like pain. <laughs> All right, so if you want to do dry kneeling, come find him at Precise Rehab. And since Kwa is my second home. All right, you can also, uh, uh, because we are doing now a promotion, so you get the six sessions, uh, it's only 660, and each session is just 110. Uh, focus on the sports massage. <laughs> and if you mention my name here at Precise Rehab, you also get a discount of 10%. Alright, you can check our website as well. My chiropractor, he had already aligned me, so we ensured that it's not a spine issue. That means there has to be something else. And after doing a couple of tests, my uh, physiotherapist, you could say, or my dry needling therapist, he found out that it was actually my piriformis, which was really, really tight. He poked it, and after one session, I swear to you, my but my back was fine again. So I highly recommend dry needling. It's really, really, it's a really good method if you just want to target muscles that have been really strained out a lot from any kind of exercise. And it goes directly into it. It's different from deep tissue or myofascia massages. And finally, cryotherapy. This is completely um, new to me, going into a cold, frozen chamber. I've done cryotherapy before where it's just blow dried onto uh, one section of my body but this is where your entire body goes into a chamber which is negative 187 degrees celsius wow that's really cool so just this is what it looked like cryofit so this is jp they're gonna let me try out something which is the cryo sauna it's technically cryotherapy where anything which is cold is considered cryotherapy right jp yes. so he's got me suited up in this robe and gloves <laughs> Little booties from Russia. And the, <laughs> the vapor, the vapor that's coming out. Minus 100 for us. Okay, Get ready. I'm going to put you up. You will feel a little now. Wait. Yeah. Show me your foot. I'm right okay. here. You're good. Ooh, okay, that's not so bad. No, wait, it's coming. <laughs> oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's like, ooh, that is cold now. Oh, boy. Oh, that's really cold. <laughs> Continue to move around. At least my nostril hair just freezes up because I breathe in. <laughs> and it's now going to the car. Um, is this supposed to feel a bit tingly at the legs? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Last 30 seconds, I can survive, I can survive this. Last 30 seconds. We gave you the bathroom uh -huh. because the lift gonna come down now. Oh, ah, everything is tingly. <laughs> that was nice. Continue to work. Right. Even tomorrow, you still feel relaxed. You're gonna sleep well on a, on the muscle, on the brain. Everything continue to work during a few hours. Now I feel relaxed. Is that is that also part of it? Yes. Okay. And you're gonna be more relaxed in the first 30 minutes. Another reason why I say maintenance is so important, especially for me, is because my coach is not around to see how I'm training. So even more, I need to be responsible for my body and make sure I do not 
get injured in any way if not how is he going to give me any kind of programming so that i would be able to do it here in malaysia while he's in australia and that's another reason why i'm so cautious because i've been through the injury phase before getting ready for a comp and i don't want that again so yeah, those are the ways that I am keeping up with my athlete maintenance or rehab. Training is important, nutrition is important, but maintenance just as important. So once again, the ones that I'm doing is seeing a chiropractor regularly, going for a deep tissue massage and dry needling, also doing cryotherapy to reduce inflammation in my body. And the other one, if you don't have time or you don't want to spend that amount going to places, Stretching and foam rolling. Those are free. Uh, joys of my life, my battery died again for my camera. But in any case, 13 days out, I got to speak to my coach today and he saw my photos. I gave him updates on my physique and he's happy, which is making me happy. And one thing he was saying to me about this comp thing, the comp journey, it, it's about you beating you. And that is so true because it's not about the trophy. It's not about winning. Yeah, sure, some people say it's about winning, but really what I take away from doing this bikini competition is to see how far I can push myself. And I look forward to learning during the journey because that journey is something that once you experience it, all the stuff you take away from it is priceless. Now my muscle definition has grown a lot more, which I can see. I mean, look at these. I never had these before. I set out to beat myself last year. And when I did my first bikini comp, I beat that girl. And now it's about beating the girl in May. I don't know how else my physique is going to change. It's like a, it's like a Christmas present, you know? You give one, you like slowly open the ribbon, and then after that you slowly open the box, and then you look inside, but there is tissue, and then you just move it towards it. So yeah, that is what it's like when you are going through a transformation for your body. It's like opening a Christmas gift. And I really, 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 really can't wait to see what's gonna happen next week for calm. Oh my God. And keep myself in check is to never, ever be complacent and I wish the same thing for you out there never be complacent with yourself always strive to improve yourself every single time there's always something that you can learn and there's always something that you can gain from every single experience and situation and with that I leave you for this week's vlog. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And once again, do subscribe to my channel. Do find me on social media, which is Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Till then, I can't wait to see you in my next vlog. 13 days. I can do this. Exciting times. And as always, may the gains be forever in your favor.